Hello everybody, Googie to five here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect remotely to your Mac. Um, as many of you probably know that um, Windows includes a program called what's it called? I think it's Remote Desktop Connection. Yeah, Remote Desktop Connection. Um, but for some reason, you need to download third-party apps to connect to a Mac from a Windows machine. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to control your Mac remotely from a Windows machine. First of all, on your Windows machine, you're going to need to go into your internet browser. And then, and then you're going to type in, in the address bar, you can type tight. Okay. Now on the side here you can click download. And the first one here it says download description self-installing package for Windows. Download that, install it, and then you need to move to your Mac. So I'm gonna connect to my Mac actually right now. Um Uh, the link for it will be in the description. Um, and yeah, so you're gonna open that up, and what you're gonna need to do is change this port. It's gonna default to 5,900. Change it to 5,901. Because on a Mac, there's a service that uses port 5,900 already, and you can't have that. Don't set any password. Make sure that there's no password set. And display name, name it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Oops. Went too far. Okay. Wait, I think I should wear Okay. And nothing else really matters. And, but then, once you're... Whoops. Okay, once you're ready... you're ready, I'll just go back in. Okay, once you're ready, so once you're ready to connect uh, your Windows machine to your Mac, over here it's going to say start server, click that, and then you can close it. And now on your Windows machine, oh wait, no, you need to get something. Okay, don't close it yet. Under IP address, take note of the IP address you need that. So mine's 192.168.2.15. That probably isn't a good idea to give it out, but whatever. 192.168.2.15, that's my IP. Um, so now, I've clicked start server. Start server. So now I'm gonna go back into Windows. Now you're going to type in your IP address. So mine was 192 of the Mac. 192, whoops. 192.168.2.15. I 
then you can type in colon colon, make sure it's two colons, and then type in 5901, and then hit connect. Then this thing will come up, maybe. Hit OK. And we can be on the Mac. So, thanks for watching, you guys. I should be out with another tutorial soon. Sorry, the, this one took so long to come out. But it will be out soon. Thanks for watching. As I already said, I'm good.